Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss how to get JSON data in Angular services. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the services, like how we create the service and how we utilize those services in our component. In this video, we will explore more on the services. So basically what we will do, we will create the JSON data and based on that JSON data, we will try to get it using the services by using the API. So for that, let's go on the Visual Studio code and for uh, like uh, what I have done here, I have created a JSON data. You can see it contains the user ID, first name, last name, phone number, email address, age, gender and images and the image path that I have added under if you can see in the asset folder, we have another folder called images and I have added couple of the images here. Those images we are getting here using the path. So now what we will do in the previous video when we were discussing about the services, we created this service and simply here we use this display message and what we are doing, we are returning this message from here and we are capturing here in the component so that we have seen in the previous video. In this video, what we will do in the services side, we will create the method and we will get this JSON data and we will try to print all these information in the HTML. So that we are going to see in this video. So for that, first let's create the service. So here to create the service, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a one method and that method get student details. This method I'm going to create. Now in the next, here what I'm going to do, I'm going to return and this dot. Now the thing is, if we have to get data uh, either from the uh, like the uh, different applications, so we have to use the APIs. And to get the API, basically we have to take the object of the HTTP client. This HTTP client sit under the at the rate Angular common and HTTP. So through that one, what we have to do, we have to get this data. So to get this data, we created this HTTP object. Now here, what we have to do, this dot HTTP dot get. So since we are using the get method, so we are using it. Now here, what we have to do, we have to call this JSON, our this JSON path. So this JSON path we can get. So this is the path through that one. We have to get it and we know uh, double dot is basically like we are going one level up and through that one we are reaching it like currently we are in the angular 15 and that comes in the student uh, so th that comes in the f folder and from f folder we are going to the asset and then we are going to the image so that's why we are using this and here what we have to do we have to use this asset and that is the folder and then we have to use this student records.json so let's write student records.json file so this is the file name which we have kept here you can see student records.json so this is the file we have used here so this is the method which we have captured and this what it do it will return all the records we are having here so we can see we are having currently five records so it is returning all these records from this now what we have to do, we have to consume this API in our component side. So in this component side, what we have to do, we have to use. So currently we are already accessing this object here. You can see it. Now next what we have to do using this service, we have to get the method. Now to get this method, what we have to do this dot service dot get student data. Now here we will use the subscribe method. So we will discuss in briefly about the subscribe method, like what it is and how we use the subscribe method and what is the use of subscribe method in the Angular side that we will discuss in the different topic. But in the one line subscribe method is basically used to subscribe our API and through this one we used to get the data. So here we are going to use the Lambda expression and here what we will do this dot student info. So is the in this student info, I'm going to assign the data. So basically this is the data which it come through the subscribe method. We are getting this data from the get student detail and we are assigning this data in this student info. So this is the method which we created and we know ng on in it is the first place like after the constructor it is another place where it hit when we come to a particular component. 
in the coming video we will discuss about the life cycle hook of the um, like angular application we will we will discuss more on the ng on it so here now the next thing we have assigned the value now next part what we have to do we have to design the page now for this one i have already designed the css if you can see so i have taken a grid and according to that i have put a couple of the uh, css here now next thing what we have to do we have to design the html now here we can see student info we have taken in an array format so to uh, get the data from the array what we have to do we have to use the ng4 star ng4 through that we will loop the data and we will capture the data so here to uh, get uh, like say over time i have already created our html file so here what we will do here i am getting the uh, like basically classes which we have created and apart from that if you will see like in the index.html i am using the bootstrap classes that those cdn files so i have used those cdn file here you can get all the cdn file from the uh, like google like you can search what is the cdn uh, for the bootstrap you can get and you can put under this um, index.html under the head so here i'm using couple of the like inline css and uh, here you can see inline css couple of the i'm using the class css which we created in the css file and couple of the bootstrap file like called m8 and all these things now here you will see i'm using this star ng4 and over this student info i'm making the loop and what i am doing here i have a card header and i'm getting this data like whatever the student first name last name so these object is basically coming from here first name last name and other thing what i am doing i am creating three buttons here that is the view edit and the delete that you can see here i am showing only these two record then i am showing here the image and then three button i am showing now like currently i am not showing all the details here so these couple of the information i am showing let's save the data and go on the browser so if i will come on the browser and if i will go on the student we will see all the information is showing so this is the first name krish lee so let's see uh, here what is the first name there is a krish lee and it is going to the peter.png so according to that all the images it's showing and based on that all the button it is showing and currently like we didn't give any uh like action for all these things so those buttons is like that so this is the way basically we used to capture the data from the uh json file and how we get this data json data in the uh, services this is the way instead of this like if we have our api so through that api also we get just like this like http.get and here we have to give the api path and just we have to subscribe that method and we have to get the data so this is the way to get the data using the services from the json in angular 15. so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you